Chris Williams, Brisbane, Australia. Diagnosed with diabetes at age 27. Five years before I was diagnosed, I started cycling, so I was relatively late. Before that, I had picked up some bad habits after leaving school and I was a smoker and I was overweight. So I was uh, not in good shape to be out on the bike at all. I moved to the city uh, into a share house with uh, some, a guy that was doing triathlons and uh, I wouldn't see him very much. I'd see him, I'd be coming in from a night out, he'd be heading out for training in the morning and that's the only time I'd see him. Uh, one weekend morning we were sitting down watching a triathlon on television. Uh, my wife was there at the time and she made a remark about uh, the physique of a triathlete as he ran out of the water. And being competitive I sort of scoffed at that and said I could do that. So uh, I sold my car, I uh, quit smoking, I bought a bike and uh, three months later I did my first triathlon race. Uh, well, I never enjoyed running. It's always seemed like a bit of a violent act to me, so I gave that, that up pretty easily. Uh, in swimming, I was uh, never a natural swimmer, so I was always playing catch-up coming out of the water in races. Uh, I absolutely love riding my bike, uh, and so I decided to, to focus on that. I lost a lot of weight in the lead-up to uh, my di diagnosis, and I had a lot of other symptoms that I didn't really notice at the time. Uh, I was always craving sugary drinks, I was thirsty all the time, I was going to the bathroom a lot. My vision was blurry and my wife says that my uh, mood swings were pretty bad, but uh, I didn't notice. I was uh, diagnosed in the middle of a bike race. Uh, I was uh, in Victoria in Australia for a national series race. I thought I was in pretty good shape leading up to the event and in the first day I got dropped. Uh, I couldn't hang on to the bunch. Uh, I just sort of shook it off, thought I was a bit dehydrated. Second day the exact same thing happened and uh, the, the stage finished with a climb up a hill. I collapsed at the top. Uh, with basically cramping all over my body and I went to the hospital to, to get a drip because I thought I was dehydrated and that's when I was diagnosed. Uh, I was pretty devastated at first when I was diagnosed but um, I had my friends there and my teammates and they weren't going to let me mope around so within two days they had me back on a bike with a, a fanny pack full of uh, jelly beans and insulin and uh, I went for my first ride. Team Nova Noise to me, to me it's all about opportunity. I have the opportunity to do what I love for a living, which is fantastic. I have the opportunity to race with guys that have the same condition as me, and we have the opportunity to inspire, empower, and educate those around the world that are affected by diabetes to show that you don't have to let diabetes stop you achieving your goals.